During the 18th century, new thinkers began to use reason and science to challenge all such traditions. A new intellectual spirit of the age brings everything under fresh scrutiny, judging it according to criteria of rationalism and humanitarianism. France is alive with new discoveries and debates. It is the age of enlightenment. The Enlightenment is a movement which says don't trust authority, don't trust anything that you've been told by anybody else at all, think it out for yourself, test it for yourself. In old regime Europe, you were told what to think. You were given information from above by your rulers, by your priests. And so the idea that you could map out all of human knowledge and then have access to it was revolutionary. In exclusive salons across Paris, aristocrats gather to discuss Enlightenment authors and the burgeoning age of reason. Voltaire, Rousseau, fresh voices who champion liberty, control of one's own destiny, and religious tolerance. The passion for this new literature is evident amongst the aristocracy. But as Enlightenment ideas trickle through all levels of society, the drive for equality will begin to threaten the aristocratic way of life. What makes it dangerous is it means you will eventually question why are aristocrats the ones with privilege? Can't we change the world to make it a better place? Isn't progress possible? All of that will eventually undermine the idea that monarchy is natural, aristocracy is natural, and hierarchy is natural. To see Enlightenment ideals in action, one has only to look across the Atlantic where the Americans struggle for independence from France's nemesis, Great Britain.